Hi guys, Dorota Palicka, international new artist and educator here, and today we will do something which was requested quite a lot of times. And so that's a design with the blooming gel, very quick and easy, but quite effective. Have a wee preview of it in here. So nice and beautiful colors, and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you do, let me know down below in the comments. Let's start. Fun design with the blooming gel again, and I show it. It's kind of reminds me those uh, I don't know porcelain look uh, a little bit, and I show you how to recreate this look. Uh, so we are going to create the design on those two fingers, and then this one I will just painted the color which is blueberry two hundred one. It's a really nice dark blue color. And then cook it. Then on those uh, needles we are going to use the blooming gel and those blueberries. So I'm just putting a drop of the blueberry on the side. And paint the tip with the blooming gel. Using the dotting tool we are going to paint the flowers. So to make the life easier for you, you can just do a small dot so you know where the flower is going to be. And then two dots, like almost a heart shape you want to paint. So I'm kind of dragging it a little bit into those love heart shape. And then they will spread really nice. Okay, so this way we have painted the flowers. Wait a couple minutes for it to spread a little bit and then give it a cook. I can apply a second layer of this color there. And then cook it. Okay, on this one we are going to do the design same way like as here. So I'm painting just uh, in the middle, like a wavy line with the blooming gel. And that's where I'm going to place those flowers. Dotting tool. And just painting wee dots. Don't make them too regular. Okay, wait for the product to spread a little bit. So you can see already it start looking nice. And then this one is actually so pretty. And then once you're happy with it, give it a kick. This one we can start decorating it with the gold glitter and the one I'm going to use is a Shooting Star 192. So I'm just placing a little bit of it on my mixing palette and then using the old brush I'm going to apply it inside the flowers. So even if you create those dots where you want to indicate your flowers you don't have to worry because you are going to cover it with the glitter. Ok, 
Okay, cook it. Same on this one. So I'm just applying dots with the glitter. inside the flowers and then cook it. This one is ready for a top coat. And then we can start painting the net in here. So I'm using the D-liner brush dip in into those um, blue color but actually you know what guys I'm going to mix it with the color plus the reason for it is the color plus gels are more pigmented and they thicker consistency I prefer doing like a thin line work with those kind of gels rather than pure gel polish which is more runny okay so I have mixed my color plus with this shade just so I can create a similar look to it pick up a very small amount of the product on my brush and now we are going to paint those netting. So nice and thin line. We can make it kind of wavy. And then same in here. Okay, give it a flash cure. We can also apply the top coat over this one as is completely ready. And you could use two different colors, three different colors as well, like on the same, on the one design. I think it will look super pretty too. Okay, the one with the net. Now we are going to paint the lines this way. So I'm just going to clean my brush because I feel like it's lo lots of paint in there and that's making it more difficult to get a nice and fine lines. That's is so much easier. So whenever you start feeling that your brush doesn't behave, just remove the excess of the paint from it. Okay, and same in here. Give it a flash cure. Using a dotting tool, we are going to add a couple of the dots and then slap some glitter on as well. So dotting tool. And some dots. I have used the gel polish now. And uh, because of it, uh, I'm going to do only a couple and then give it a flash cure so it doesn't spread. Give it a flash cure. Even those two, three seconds will just freeze the product and prevent from spreading. There is lots of more ideas with the blooming gels, like you can do really 
use it as like um, paint any kind of design you want like and then just use it on top of the blooming gel to achieve absolutely different fantastic effects this one is ready as well okay now tiny bit of the glitter so i'm just picking up the small amount of the glitter and just brush it, it on there kind of in between the netting you don't want to have too much glitter in there just a wee tiny wee bit just so there is some sparkle but not over the top kind of smudge it and then cure it again this one is ready glitter freezed apply the top coat and then I can show you the full set which we have created today. Cook it. So this one is ready as well. And it is going to be in the middle. It's actually look pretty interesting. I just missed this uh, nice steep in there. Uh, and then I can show you the final look. So in the meantime, I'm just going to wipe my mixing palette to clean the colors we don't need. So I've got it ready for a next design and actually have started preparing something I might show you guys as well. Why not? So we are going to do some kind of wedding style uh, design in the next video. It depends how we pick them up like, but uh, there is lots of lots of tutorials on this channel. You need to check them out guys. Um, because we, we're trying our best to produce them in constantly for you. So go back and check. And I will, uh, I will create also some autumn playlist for you guys as well. So you can see it as well. And that's what we have created. Oh, it's actually really pretty. It's so different, like, and it's not pink. It's not pink, guys. <laughs> it's blue this time. Uh, so I'm trying to show you all sorts of different uh, colors as well, because of course each of us got a slightly different test. And you need to check my nails as well. There's a tutorial on them uh, too. Uh, I'm so happy because I've got two same hands. Um, so yeah, I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye for now.